Good evening everyone. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Paul Savage. I'm pastor in Craigavon Baptist Church and I'm so thankful for your continued interest and support of the work in Craigavon and I'm thankful for your continued prayers for us. Um, COVID-19 has affected us like every church um, throughout Ireland. Um, we have not been able to meet together, which is never ideal, and it's never what we want. Um, but I have been thankful for, for some things through this time. Um, I'm, I'm thankful for online services. I've been thankful for um, online prayer meetings. I'm thankful that I've been able to share with you in this way. As many of you know, we are striving to revitalize in Craig Avon, and I've been thankful that um, a few people who have been coming regularly um, before the lockdown have, have remained in very close contact, have still been coming to joining us for online prayer times and our Sunday services. I've also been thankful for just opportunities to, I suppose, serve and express love to people in, in different ways and just through delivering parcels and food to people, even writing cards and things that we wouldn't um, do as often when we are in regular contact with people. I've also been thankful for just, just a sense of, of unity and praying together and persistently praying, um, both for COVID and for um, church unity. And please do pray for um, our church unity. Please pray that, that through these days we would continue to be united as a body of believers. Pray that we would continue to be able to express unity um, even in these days where we are apart. Pray that we would use our, our time wisely um, in these days. Pray that um, it would be a time where we would be growing spiritually. And please do pray for for one lady in our church who is still recovering. Um, she's making progress, but slow progress um, from COVID-19. And pray that many in Craigavon would be drawn to Jesus. Pray that after this is over and we have contact with people again, that there would be many um, opportunities um, to share the gospel with, with people in Craig Avon. And finally, please do pray for me and our elders as we strive to lead the church in Craig Avon uh, and strive to, to discern what is best for people uh, at this time. So thank you indeed for your continued prayers. The Lord bless you. Evening everyone, um, Andrew had asked me just to record a short video, uh, just uh, sharing a few things for prayer uh, from us in Moira Baptist. My name is Simon Mowoney, I'm currently the pastor in Moira and I've been serving there for uh, just over four years now. Um, so thank you to Andrew for even the opportunity to share some things that uh, you guys can be praying for us and hopefully we can do the same for you. Um, obviously for everyone, COVID-19 has had such an impact and one of our big, biggest requests in prayer is, I'm sure the same as yourselves, that soon the Lord might be pleased to allow us to gather together again. You know, we have been uh, trying to do as much online as possible, meeting as small groups, having various teaching sessions, but nothing is the same as just that physical meeting together as God's people to worship him. So. The, the opportunity to do that again, we, we long for, and that's one of our greatest prayer requests. But also in that, we long that as uh, the body of Christ and Moira, we would grow in these days, that we would uh, invest the time, um, and that we would grow in our commitment and faithfulness to Jesus Christ, and our commitment and our faithfulness in proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. We don't want these days to be wasted, and we don't want to uh, fail to maximize uh, the time for the kingdom. So really pray that we uh, would really appreciate prayer for just um, God's grace in that area. Uh, we also have one of our members who is still in mourning after his father passing away due to the, the virus. So much prayer for that would be really appreciated also. Um, just such a, a trying time. Um, and as well as that, come September, there's changes afoot in Moira. Um, I had told the church that I'd be stepping down from my role as pastor um, come September to, to study. Um, so 
obviously the process of that and the changeover has made all the more difficult just with everything that's happening so please do pray for us that God would lead us and guide us and give us real wisdom so that things would be seamless um, there's opportunities in our community one of our members leads up the food bank and with that has great um, opportunities to get into people's lives and, and build up relationships and we want to maximize that as a church and be faithful in that so prayer for that would be so appreciated and also with the local ch- with the local school we've got a, a strong relationship and even um Currently, there's a letter writing between some of the children and members in our church. And again, we want to just make sure that all these opportunities, we are seeking to bring the good news of Jesus Christ um, into every opportunity. So thanks again for all your prayers and I hope you have a blessed time together. Uh, See you. Bye. bye. Maybe some of you that don't know me, uh, my name is Daniel Ashby. I'm married to Janice and we have two boys, Reuben, who's three and Oliver, who's six months, and I am the pastor of Lisburn Baptist Church, and I've been there since last June. And just Andrew's asked us to give a little update on how things are in our church, um, and how you can be praying uh, for us, as we've been praying for you um, over the past uh, number of months. Uh, Like most churches, we've had to suspend our services and our organisations in March time with the the rise of the coronavirus. And we've had to take our services online, which has very much been a new venture for us as a church. And it's had the challenge of, uh, like every church, like I'm sure yourselves as well, Emmanuel, being able to provide pastoral and practical care at a distance uh, while we've been in lockdown. What we've done is we've moved our services online. We have our three services a week. Um, or our midweek where we have a devotional thought and then a prayer time together in our homes or in more recent days we've been trying to pray over zoom and different things like that and then we have our two sunday services online on sunday morning and sunday evening and it's been great just seeing some of the younger folks in the church get involved using their giftings and technology to be able to facilitate us to do that and we're very thankful for those god has gifted in our uh, fellowship um, just to bring those gifts to bear at a time such as, as this. We've also tried to just stay in touch through other means. And in April, we've been doing a, a 30 days of prayer as a church and just every day having um, a, a thought and then items to pray for um, each day as a church. And then in May time, we're uh, starting up a, a Bible study. We have a, a Bible study been designed uh, to take us through the book of Galatians for us to use in our own personal quiet times or to gather together in small groups um, online or over the phone um, just to, to discuss the questions and learn together. So it's been a challenge but we're trying just to be able to provide for each other and pick up the phone and, and see how each other is, is getting on. You know, We have many members in, in Lisburn who are older or elderly um, and attendees also and um, it's been a challenge for them. A lot of them maybe wouldn't be as used to being online as some of the younger generations. So it's been encouraging to see some of them being able to grasp new technology but also we've also had to think of ways of just being able to get the services out to them by CD or, or in other ways and um, just for them you know they're isolating alone and we'd ask you to pray for, for many of them it's a lonely time for them and just that they would know the Lord's help and the Lord's blessing in these days um, we at, as the church have just had a few suspected cases of coronavirus and um, thankfully those people have been able to recover at home so far but it's an anxious time for everyone as it is uh, for yourselves to um, particularly a challenge for us as a church is there's quite a few who are awaiting different procedures or treatment and that's all been suspended at this time so just pray that the Lord would give them grace and help um, as they struggle on in pain or an illness uh, waiting for those uh, at this time this time has also provided uh, opportunities for outreach and um, we've many listening online who usually wouldn't attend at the church and we also were able to hold an online outreach service uh, in easter time which was uh, great to see people who are not christians tuning into that and we're planning another for the end of may and um, so we do thank you just for uh taking the time to be able to, to share um, this evening and just for your prayers for us as a church and we're continuing to pray for you. We're, we're disappointed that we'll not be able to join together in prayer physically as we wanted to this month um, but hopefully we'll be able to soon. Um, so my friends at Emmanuel, um, we trust the Lord continues to bless and use you as a church and you're in our prayers. God bless.
Hello everybody, my name is David Ball and I'm an elder in the church at Ballykeel and thank you for this opportunity just to share a few points of prayer and praise. And like all our churches at the minute, COVID-19 is having a huge impact on us and we're really missing that opportunity to fellowship and spend time together with our brothers and sisters in Christ at the church at Ballykeel. But this time, uh, we believe as a church, God has, has blessed us as well. We have been very fortunate that no members or anybody associated with the church in Ballykeel has had to be hospitalised with COVID-19, so we've got to praise God um, for that. We're also very thankful for reports we're getting from different members within the church about conversations they're having with people in the community um, who are tapping in via social media to, to our church services. And these are people who would never go to church, people who have no affiliation with the church, who wouldn't listen to church services normally, but they're doing it at this time. And it's leading to opportunities for spiritual conversations with people we have, have never had before, and we, we thank God for that. We're also very thankful to God for our times of prayer. Um, from the very start, we've been able to use that little Zoom conferencing call, and we have enjoyed some great periods of prayer over that. And it's been a real blessing for us in the church because we still have some of our missionaries on the field out in, in Mexico and Brazil and Romania and Russia at the minute. And normally they would never be part of our prayer meetings, but via Zoom they've been able to be there. It's been great to see them. It's been a real encouragement for them and a real encouragement for us just to even hear what's going on in their lives and to hear them prayer with us at our prayer meeting. So that has been a real blessing too. Um, it's a little bit different for us in Ballykeel at the minute as we are vacant and don't have a pastor. So we value your prayers as we continue to seek God's face for his man and his time who will come in and be our, our teacher in Ballykeel. So if you could pray for that, we'd appreciate that. But it's also another point for thanks because over these weeks, uh, different pastors from our association have been so faithful and so helpful to us in preparing uh, messages and ministries that we can use as part of our services. And we are so indebted and so thankful to them for doing that for us. And just a couple of other things to pray for. Continue to pray for our elderly. We have many elderly who live alone in our fellowship and they're, they're finding it tough at this time as they are in their own churches. We also have a high proportion of people who are would be frontline medical workers as nurses and doctors and physios, etc. Continue that God will continue to pray that God will look after them as he has done in recent days. And just pray for us as a church that we will sort of have gospel eyes as we look at this. That whenever we look at this situation, both now and going forward, we know we wouldn't want to be in it. But we also trust that God is sovereign. And we pray that we will take opportunities to speak of the love of our Saviour when we can during these times as well. So thank you. And as you pray for us, we promise we'll be praying for you. We have been and we will continue to pray for you too. Thank you. Well, uh, good evening everyone. Thank you very much for uh, expressing interest and wanting to hear what's going on with Emmanuel Baptist Church. We really do appreciate the fact that over the last few years there's just been this increasing relationship between our churches and it's been really encouraging uh, personally, but I think also for the people of our church as well. And we're really uh, disappointed that we weren't able to physically gather together for prayer on uh, Wednesday night as we were hoping to. Uh, and, and at the same time, uh, just the communication we've had and everything else makes us long all the more to be able to do that, to all get together and to pray. And thank God for bringing us through what has happened at the moment. That said, uh, as a church, we've been uh, really blessed. Uh, we had a number of people, and I know you were praying for them in our church, who uh, were hospitalised through the pandemic and uh, it created a lot of concern amongst us, obviously, because our brothers and sisters were hurting. And there were several of them who we really, um, really weren't sure how things would go. But thankfully, at this particular point, uh, everybody who was ill and hospitalised is now home. Uh, they're recovering. There's still uh, a way to go, but they've made good progress. And we're really, really grateful for that. Um, we've uh, been able to hear from, from a number of them, hear them pray, hear updates from them. And again, it's just been a real encouragement to uh, our church and a real reminder that even... Uh, when the odds seem stacked against us, that the prayer is a wonderful gift that God has given to us and we can come to him, we can ask for help and uh, by his grace he often hears and he loves to answer the prayers of his children and he's been very gracious uh, to those who are suffering in our church and gracious to us because he spared uh, those who we care so much about. Uh, as a church as well, we've a number of 
just like yourselves, uh, key workers involved in hospitals and care homes and uh, uh, seeking to uh, help others by keeping everything else functioning at this time. And uh, we'd value prayer just for their protection. Uh, a number of them are tired uh, with everything that's been going on and obviously their families have been worried about them. But again, God's been very gracious thus far. We do have a number uh, in our church. You can be praying especially for Lady Daphne, who's uh, undergoing uh, chemo uh, treatment at the moment. She has been for a long time and it's been a very uh, slow and difficult road. She, her spirit has been uh, really uh, wonderful through the whole thing. Very uh, Christ focused and a real encouragement to the rest of us. But it has been a long road and uh, just the increased difficulties and uh, potential of spread of uh, virus and everything else has uh, been difficult. She's been in and out of hospital for treatment, but also just uh, she's caught little colds and bugs and things like that uh, just for recuperation as well. So please pray for uh, Daphne. Uh, lastly, then, if you can be uh, praying, there are a number of our church have had real evangelistic opportunities, co-workers coming and talking to them in a way they never have before. And we've been really encouraged by that. We did uh, two weeks of little Easter, really outreach devotionals. They run up to Easter and those have been shared an awful lot. And again, has fostered a lot of conversation. But, uh, you know, God is the God of salvation. So we want to keep praying to him that he would make us faithful, but also that he would use our words and uh, uh, use the expression of the hope that we have before the world uh, to, f to foster opportunity for his word to be heard and that he would use it to remove the heart of stone and replace it with a heart of flesh. So thank you for praying for us and uh, please keep doing so. We look forward to be, being able to do it together.